Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Uh, we've played enough decks that we're finally going to be the bad person, and we are playing some uh, Bant, so green, white, blue, ramp. Uh, so we've been trying to actively avoid green, blue on the channel to try to explore some other strategies, um, but we're giving in. We're going to be playing some. Uh, so this deck here is looking to ramp out as quick as possible a Dream Trawler, and then just try to beat down your opponent. Um, there's a number of uh, useful cards in the deck. So kind of breaking it down in terms of ramp, removal, and win cons. Uh, so you have 10 sources of ramp. Uh, Boreal Grazer, Wolf uh, Willow Haven, which can also be used to create a creature if you flood out. And then Growth Spiral. Um, so there's 10 sources of ramp. Uh, Uro also can be both a win con and ramp in the deck. Uh, and then something we can keep getting value out of our graveyard with. Uh, Nisa is a win con and ramp again. So it's kind of these strategies of cards being multi-purpose. Uh, removal, pseudo counter removal, card draw, and Thassa's intervention. Four banishing lights, three Elspeth conquers death, which uh, can kill stuff and then bring back any of our creatures and or planeswalkers. And then the way we win the game is Hydrate Crisis, Nisa, Uro, or Dream Trawler. One agent to kind of steal stuff, get it back. And then some Teferis to disrupt the opponent. Mana base wise, 24 lands. May want to see if we want to go up to 25, uh, just in terms of getting an available use out of some of these cards. Uh, and then uh, one castle, and then the rest are just kind of a couple temples, stuff like that. Uh, no Paradise Druid in this one. I want to try out the Wolf Willow. Uh, it's a little bit more stable uh, than Paradise Druid. Um, but at the flip side, we don't get the early attacker. And it doesn't fix our mana. So that's something we're going to want to see in the games, which one would have played out better. Uh, Sideboard-wise, uh, Hushbringers versus uh, ETB style effects, Veto and Mystical Dispute, what we need for control matchup. Lovestruck comes in against the aggro decks. Uh, shifting Sarah tops against counter base decks or blue base decks. Time wipe when we need a board wipe can also have the luxury of bouncing our own creature, whatever's best, like Hydroid Crisis or Dream Trawler. And then one Heliod's intervention, both for life gain and to blow up, and like uh, if we get like Esper stacks or anything like that, the Doom Foretold or heavy kind of blue white control with all the enchantments. So I've only played this deck once in a best of one and I smacked. Uh, what is it called? Uh, fires with it. So we'll run it again, see how it goes. Probably play one to two best of threes, depending on how long the games go, and then a couple best of ones. Uh, do let me know how the video settings are uh, in this video. I've been playing around to try to prevent the arena from crashing my machine. Um, so I tweaked it a bit, but let me know if the quality is not the same. Um, I could probably keep this hand. We're on the play. We have Growth Spiral to draw us into third land and then Uro. So, single swamp could be Rakdos, could be Demir, could be Mono Black. Um, here I'm going to just Agonite. Ooh. Not hitting a land there is rough. The Exile's relevant as well on Uro. So, they take the Oblivion. Okay. Never not have it. Lodigress, thanks for the raid. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks, guys. So, a Yara, if we hit a land. Um, Just gonna bounce to try to hit the line. Thanks for the raids. Okay, so they have rankle. Really want to hit a land here. Um. Sec. Let's make sure this taps properly.
And then I'm just gonna Uro here. They can force us to discard. We can discard the Growth Spiral. I think we want another land or a removal spell. How's everybody doing today? Catch any of the PT? Interesting, no effects. So this is a Hushbringer matchup as well as Time Wipe that we'll want out of the board. Um, I think... Can we Nisa and Conqueror's Death this turn? Probably not. So let's just get this going. I think we want to get rid of Rankle. Just Growth Spiral, try to get some stuff back. Probably going to bait out a Nisa for it to be attacked down. We can get some utility out of it, hopefully. Uh, so they're gonna get rid of Irvo. Forgot the exile clause here. So let's play Nisa out here. So we can also just Teferi afterwards, bounce the Yara. And then I can also just low, like low value if we draw a land here. So I can Aboreal Grazer, just play the land. And then next turn I have a big Hydroid Crisis. And then we have blockers at least. So they can exile and get rid of the Teferi in the yard. So main deck, uh, Tyramet, a little bit of a problem. That's fine. Interesting. They go after Tef, not Nisa. I guess just get it off the battlefield. It's value. Okay, so they spend all their money, or their mana, money, mana. Uh, so, just tap through everything here. So that's 610. I can go for 12, which I think we do want to go through. So X10 here refills our hand for us. Not that great. It's a free attack here, so we'll see. They take the block. So we cleared all those lands off the top. It looks like they got Rider. Rider comes in. Fine, we'll uh, Teferi bounce it again. It just sets him back another turn. Another Krasis is nice. So we'll just tap out for Krasis, see how much mana we have. That's uh, 9, 10. So we'll just crisis for eight here. Get that value out of it. Okay, we got Conquer's Death. We also have Dream Trawler, which should just win the game on its own. So 
let's conquer's death. Get rid of probably a Yara. No, Rankle seems like it's worth, can force us to sack stuff. Our life total's high enough that a Yara won't kill us. Next turn we can just Dream Trawler and then they won't have much. I want to try to avoid showing them the Dream Trawler. Okay. Gary hits us for a lot. Um, so Nisa can give our stuff indestructible. So let's start with Teferi. Bounces a Yara. I just want to like tax them in terms of their mana. Okay, so we could actually Nisa get a bunch of lands and then ultimate and then play out another one. Play out another Nisa. These are indestructible now, so there's a lot of value there. Um, let's go with a breeding pool, all out attack, and then play Dream Trawler on the way back. So why can't I play you? There we go. Um, I think we just want the blockers back just so they can attack in. Yeah, so it took them down there. Uh, so mono black, I actually don't have Devout Decree, which is something wrong for this matchup, so we need to tweak the sideboard for that. Hushbringer is also good here. Uh, what's Agent's probably too slow. On the play, we can get rid of Thassa's Intervention. Teferi's also not that good in this matchup. So maybe, maybe just Love Struck. It's a decent blocker. Because they're not really gonna bring artifacts. The life gain's not super relevant. So maybe just a couple Love Strucks in here. I need to switch this sideboard though. No Devout Decree seems wrong. Playing against Cellophane. The power level of like just Bant and Green White in particular. So we'll keep this hand. Wolf Willow again is not bad. We can produce a lot of mana into a Hydrate Crisis. We also have Love Struck. But I think one's fine. Okay, so timer, timer it. So next turn I could love struck Heart's Desire and Love Struck next turn. They go Fenlurker. Uh got blue. Got enough blue, so let's just get rid of breeding pool here. So this should just stop them from attacking for a couple turns. If they do have removal, okay, so they have Shepherd. Oops. 
they'll exile a card, but I don't really care. I think just getting it off the battlefield now then as opposed to later. So for I wanna go for six on it. Nice is great. Um Cause I at the current stand I can't really block it, so there's no value. So kind of need a time wipe here. Ah, they got Gary. Okay, so that's good because I can follow it up. If they attack him with Gary, then I just block with the one one. Ah, they got Conquer's death. Wanted to get rid of the Nightmare Shepherd there. No, get rid of the other Hydra Crisis. Another white source is kind of annoying. That's so two, four, six, eight. So it's lethal with the gray merchant. So we need an exile effect. So I'm probably just going to block with the land here. Getting double agonizing remorse there hurt. Ritual sucks. They go after Nisa. Time wipe would be good. Nope. All right, a little slow on that one. Um. So if they got ritual, then I don't want the love structs. Thassa's intervention could be fine. Just as a counter, run it like that. I think we want to try to get like the Hushbringers out. And that'll have a better play. Uh, I'm going to mulligan this. Okay, uh, we don't have green here. Let's try it. Um, can I put the planes away? Trying to find a green source. Two weird hands. And there goes my Elspeth. Ooh, that's an interesting take. Can't cast you anyways. Fen Lurker. So they become a lot more disruptive post board. They got there. I think we want action now. This can bait out a removal spell if they have one. Okay, they go Noxious Grasp. Probably better than a Murderous Rider. Doesn't add to Devotion. Oh, come on. So we're gonna scry on our end step, try to find something decent now. Let them discard, most likely is the play. OK, 
Okay, so they're gonna let us draw. Let's. Ooh, we're one off Dream Trawler. Order is discard, then draw. So it's not bad. We get to get rid of the Rankle at least. Mono black, unless they're playing Ugin, which I doubt. Uh, they won't have a way to get rid of Banishing Light unless they play like that Agonizing. Oh, okay, so they got a ton of life here, so we're probably dead. We get a turn. Means lined on top. If we can ever cast this Dream Trawler. Mon land, Nightmare Shepherd. Time all right. Fen Lurker. Goodbye, Dream Trawler. Weird mana situation this game. Gary kills us. When Bolas Citadel runs, it runs right through you. All right, let's fire up another one. Let me put the Devout Decrees in the sideboard. Felt like something we needed in that game. There's enough black decks going around. Um... Cut down one of you. Cut down one of you. Run it like that. I'll update the deck list afterwards. Let's run through another one. Problem is I kind of want to play main board board wipes. I feel like it's quite effective in the format right now, but with Nisa, it blowing up your lands is not where I want to be. Sands Keep. Mono White Agra. Yeah. I think increasingly we just want to be on board wipes main. Might have to tweak this list. Try to win with Trawler. Okay, so we got Uro for next turn. It'll gain us some life. Nisa's interesting but i think we're a while away away from this i think i want um banishing light perhaps the fairy is actually better the fairy does a good job of forcing them to recast this and make them take their entire turn doing that And then we can Conquer's Death uh, the following turn and exile it. If they go Heliod here, we can exile it as well. I go Gideon. That's something even better to, to Conquer's Death. Got a follow up banishing light. So I'm gonna get Conquer's Death going uh, because it could get our Teferi back. Next turn as well, our Dream Trawler. And then I can discard the Uro for value. Giant Killer can tap it down. Which may be something I want to get rid of. I go Healer Hawk. Okay, so realistically here, I play out Dream Trawler. 
They can pay two mana to tap it down. I could discard something to give it hex proof. That gets them around the combat step. They hit us for two, five, six, seven, eight, nine if they have unbreakable formation. I get to ferry back the following turn. I could also Uro, gain three life, banishing light the giant killer. I think we do that. I don't care about their life gain right now. When we win, like we'll have board control. I just don't want a, our dream trawler to be tapped down. So, put a counter on it. Let me bounce it. Which bodes well. If they have a removal spell, I'm dead this way. Oh, did I put a counter on it? Instead of a... Ah, oh, I put the... I screwed that up. I thought it defaults to only loyalty counters on your planeswalkers. It's really stupid that it gives you that interface. Next turn I can attack... I can hydrate Krasis, draw four, get a bunch on. This actually turns off the life gain from Daxos, which is kind of funny. Okay, so we draw. So we'll gain some life this way. Hit them for seven here. Unlike the mono black, we don't have to worry about a we're just dead mm -hmm. attack. Okay, so they do have the Banishing Light. Let's see what they target. So I take the Fairy off the battlefield. They're going to keep back the Giant Killer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll have eight mana available. They can't tap down my Dream Trawler. Ooh, Nisa's nice. So a Nisa. So if you go one, two, three, four, five. I'll cast Nisa. Probably Animate this. 
It's unlikely that they'll block with Linden, I don't think. And then we can Conquer's Death the Linden. Actually, Allsmead would prevent us from. So if I do that, then I gotta keep that back. If I Banishing Light, I can also Growth Spiral. But I should have done that before. The All Seed is actually a problem. No, maybe let's just. Oh, do I, I don't have enough for Uro yet, right? Why did it tap like that? Oh, stupid thing. So it wasn't supposed to tap like that because I wanted to Uro. Hey Alpoderos, if you're on the computer, there's a link uh, just on the right hand side, a little like widget. Let's get rid of Giant Killer. That taps down my dude. Um, if not, let me know. Yeah, if you right over here there should be a widget. If you're on mobile, let me know and I'll link you the deck list. Okay, so they sack that. Alright. Here's the list. We took down game one against Mono Black, but uh, match three we had weird, no green mana. Okay, let's see what they take out here. It's fine. We can Conquer's Death it to get it back. So I want to prioritize forests here. Okay, cool. So we get the banishing light. The ribbon was covering it. So it took him down there. Uh, so this game, we really just want the time wipes. Probably Hushbringer turns off the life gain, but it's probably not all that relevant. Um, probably Love Struck, just as a blocker. And Heliod's Intervention doesn't get around. Maybe we just wanted an Intervention, more so than the Thassa's Interventions. They're low to the ground, so we're not going to do that much. Um, Teferi's fine in this matchup. Thanks, Pepin. Uh, Wolf Willow, uh, Agent's too slow. Probably cut down Anissa, to be honest. Like the Banishing Lights, like the Crisis. Dream Trawler's how we're going to win. So maybe cut down two Nisas. They gum up the board really well. And I want, like,. I want to try to ramp out a Dream Trawler as quick as possible. So this is the third game with the deck. I've played against Mono Black. I've played against Fires mm -hmm. uh, before we came on stream just to test it out. So this probably isn't the final iteration. I think I want to tweak to maybe take the Nisas out of the main board and put so switch it up, have board wipes main board and uh, Nisa's in the side. I think with just our traditional ramp, we'd be fine, but we just need to get to that mid to late game, which we're having a trouble with against some of these go wide strategies. Oh, 
Oh, nice that you got to Mythic. Um, I'm still on not Platinum, uh, Diamond, whatever the one is uh, below. I haven't been playing too much. We should have finished top 1200 last time, or last month at least, which was nice. So we're a little land heavy, but the temples should scry us into something better. We also have a good blocker. So I, I was really ranking up last season with um, Doom Foretold, uh, best of one. For whatever reason, the last two days I just kept losing with it. Um, like weird mana screwed situations. Teferi's great here because it can bounce the pride mate. Reset it after the life gain. So we're going to take this three points of damage here. Okay, second is not as good. And if they want to protect it, they can, but then they give up their lifelink source. So they're considering it. Okay, so they do do that. It does take us off a draw, which is a little unfortunate. Maybe we should have tried the... No, I still think taking it out. It was pseudo removal there. Are they ignoring Teferi? Okay. Ooh, Trawler's nice. Trawler can be the way we get out of this. Uh, probably just throw away the planes. To be honest, if they attack into Nisa this turn, I'm not too concerned. Have a good one, Pepin. Enjoy your meal. Really just want to get this trawler down. It's the best way I can to race them. Okay, so they go Banishing Light. That's fine, let Teferi die. It's weird that they attacked it this turn when last turn they could have taken it out. I uh, need a second blue source, so let's do this. And now we have protection as well. We do need to note they have Castle Ardenvale live now, so they can make a token to make these bigger in response. So we need to be mindful and not block the 4 power one. Okay, so they can unbreakable. Gonna gain the life here. I think it's least likely. Okay, so they just do that. I'm not gonna be able to eat these anyways. Okay, so we have double growth spiral. So let's see what we get off the first one. Banishing light. Um, gonna decline here. I want to keep something in hand. So here, I think we. 
So I could Banishing Light get the Nisa back, or I think we just get rid of a Pride Mate. They can make that bigger, but it's one less attacker. Daxos also turns off a life gain element. They attack for nine. No, I think we just get rid of the five power here. Um, let's just go temple here. So we have a blocker at least. We'll take five, six potentially. Heliod. Heliod is a tad frightening here. They hit us for eight here. And they can give something lifelink, which also helps the race. The problem is I got a like dream trawler here. Let's see how they attack. I think we gotta keep our life total as high as possible. Okay, so let's do this. Let's scry so we don't draw another land. The fairy is decent. So we're actually short now the mana because we could have to ferried. So if I to ferry to Nisa. Let's just reset the pride mate here. Wolf Haven doesn't quite do it, so let's just keep our life total high. That does turn off Heliod at least for the turn, but they'll be able to attack with it now. This one's been an interesting game. Like if we could rip like a Hydroid Crisis, Elspeth Conquers Death, Time Wipe, another Banishing Light, another Teferi. Like there's a lot of outs we have. And the nice thing is we do have a couple extra draws between the Dream Trawler. So we can see how in this matchup, like having Nisa out doesn't really do much. So I may want to cut them all together and just bring in more interaction. Maybe we do want the agents just so I can steal like a big pride mate or even a heliod. So let's see here if they respect a fairy. They hit for nine here. Time wipe would be really solid. We got Hushbringer, so that turns off Oro. Got Conqueror's Death, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, let's see, because if we get time wipe, then we play it out differently. Hit him for five here. So get rid of this. I think from just a defense position, we do do this. Shock and then play out both gives us another body. And we have at least one spell to give Dream Trawler Hexproof. Okay, so they have Banishing Light. Is that getting rid of Lovestruck? It is. Pride Mate. Turns off the life gain, so here, just block like that, so I'm taking 5-8, I'm down to 1, so we do need a time wipe. The fairy is something. So that gives me a blocker. Nope, not gonna get there. Not gonna get there this game. Cause that comes down, it gets rid of love struck and they hit me in. Could have reset one of these. That was probably the, the more correct play. We need a time wipe there. Um, so Nisa's didn't seem that solid, uh, or what do we want? The Hushbringers can gain us life, but don't do too much. Maybe just an Agent and a Ceratops just as a blocker. The ETB effects aren't too prevalent in Mono White. Let's just run it like this. I haven't had the closing power with this deck. Can't keep this hand. This hand's fine. Let's put back a Temple Garden. No, I need double white. Let's put back an island. This gives us an early blocker, and then we have a Banishing Light as well. Keep the Growth Spiral. Okay, so we do want something to pay off now. That is not a payoff. And actually, let's do it like this. No attacks here. Not as concerned with the Daxo so much as like a Heliod. I'm probably just going to pop it next turn, to be honest, to make a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I want to get rid of that. Crisis is nice. So do we afford a turn? I think we just Crisis here. So that's X4. Jeez. So they can put all their eggs into this Daxos. 
Glass casket. It's fine. We can dodge a creature this turn. It'd be good. That's the problem. So waiting now. They can sack it to protect their Heliod. Which is a problem. And us drawing nothing but land certainly hasn't helped the cause. Interesting they brought Casket in against us. It's fairly narrow in terms of what it hits. We got the Giant Killer. So we are punished. So we're still fine if we draw Conquer's Death. They don't give it lifelink. So we're going to bounce this. Uro is nice as a catch up here. Let's get rid of the Heliode. They might have formation up actually. So if Teferi does go to the graveyard and they kill it, then I can Uro and then cast the Uro from the graveyard. That's unfortunate. I haven't really used Uro that much. We have three of in the deck, but I haven't really drawn into it. Dream Trawler's been a lot better. So don't want land here. Uro goes away. Are you five to cast? Are we just dead? Nine, twelve. If they have a way to gain two life. Arrow's not enough, so I need the time wipe. Which, how they're playing, they probably have unbreakable formation. Give something lifelink. So I'm like time wiper bust. Ay ay ay. One of two, that's all this deck can do. One of two. Let me give Arena a quick reset. I've been going for about an hour. We'll fire up one more. Usually around an hour, Arena starts getting a little crappy. So, what could we change about this? I think we want another crisis. Go down to three Nisas. Let's try that. Do I want another board wipe? Let's go time wipe and we'll go one Hushbringer. Where'd you go, Hushy?
Actually, let's try out Kiora, the Kiora best the C. Let's try this one out, see how it goes. This is the part where we just play around with some cards, see what works best in the shell. Maybe we want Cavaliers, like green Cavaliers on the top end. It fills our graveyard, works well with Uro. It can also work nice in chaining some stuff together. So maybe we play those over the Nisas. And then that allows us to play the Board Wipes main. Turn two, Uro sounds great. Um, I think Krasis is fine, because next turn I'm going to Uro and then get to four lands. This looks like Rakdos Sacrifice. Teferi is also pretty sweet here. So next turn I can Wolf uh, Willow and Teferi in the same turn. Teferi bounce back like their oven. Takes them another turn to get set. So they go claim. A little annoying. And they got the cat. So we'll see if they get rid of our Boreal. My guess is they do, so that lets me bounce back the gutter bones. So you, you, nope, need the white source. And then we can Teferi just try to draw into another land. Yeah, no, that's a good call. So actually we need to be mindful. If this is the the claim deck, then uh, Crisis can kill us. So next turn I can Dream Trawler with backup. If they kill Teferi here, it just makes our Uro come back sooner. They got Mayhem. Mm. Um, I think we... I think we actually keep the land. So I can discard the land if need be. If not, because I want both of these cards. At the very least, my agent can steal their Witch's Oven. Or even their Red Source of Land, which they seem to be struggling with mana. No, I probably take the Oven. The Oven represents more damage. priest so we're gonna steal their priest or actually I don't need to because I could steal the oven and then I have agent out to sack to the priest this turn we'll see what we draw first taking priest might make more sense Ooh. Okay, so now we take up in. In case we draw a non painful land.
So we'll take this, and then I can play out a uh, Hydroid Crisis, draw a bunch of cards, gain a bunch of life, and then Dream Trawler attack in. Oh, uh, you know what? That was actually wrong. It just did a damage to the agent, realized they didn't have enough, and then uh, did a point of damage to our face. They should still be able to clear here just through sacking because it gives them two points of damage on the sack. So we're just going to pass no blocks here. Five, six, seven. Actually, we're dead. We have to block. I missed that. Because with off the sack, we're dead. So. Uh, in this matchup, Hushbringer's fine, Devout Decree, uh, Time Wipes, and probably the Heliode, just to gain a bunch of life, blow up that stuff. Coming out, Agent slow, Kiora is slow, Nisa is slow. Teferi's actually not that good, so maybe we just go like this. Elspeth conquers death is fine because it gets rid of the stuff we want to get rid of. Let's bring in the love structs, get rid of the Thassa's interventions. And then maybe the Ceratops. I think we run it like this. Roxy, thanks for the follow. Not doing too hot with this deck. So we'll just play out the 1-1 one, one here. So it's a little bit painful, but I think I do want to exile this now while we have a chance so it doesn't come back later. The land's fine. I'm going to Uro next turn so it gains us some life. They don't really have haste in this deck, so it's fine. So next turn I can Banishing Light if need be. They like murderous or mayhem devil. Yeah, so then we're just gonna Elspeth it. Because Oblivion, uh, so Banishing Light always has a target. So, like, worst case, we just get back Uro, even though it dies. Okay, they got a familiar. And they got the Midnight Reaper. So they can draw some cards. I actually think we go Banishing Light on the Priest, see if it forces their hand. Because if I target Midnight Reaper, they just sack to the Priest and they get a lot more value. I 
that just play out love struck we're gonna get Uro back next turn so it's another three life puts two cards in our graveyard okay so they have a mayhem devil Ooh, we actually take two points of damage here. Forget that with the Segas. So let's do this first in case we draw. Perfect. Mayhem Devil's the scariest. Let's exile it. And then next turn I can Wolf Willow and just uh, sacrifice its grade a 2-2. Puts another card in our bin for Uro. Okay, so they got an Oven, so that draws them a card every turn. So it's a little unfortunate. It's quite a bit of card advantage they're going to get. So I can either scry or guarantee a fourth card in the graveyard. So fourth card doesn't do too much currently with Uro. Yeah, I think we just do this. Gives us a 2-2. Two -two. Basically they just drain us a life and then it nets neutral for them to draw a card. We have exiled two Mayhem Devils, which is nice. But this is what we were trying to break up earlier. So they're drawing two cards a turn, so they're netting one life lost. Perfect. So we can do this for five. Let's do this for four. Actually, I want to make sure it leaves us a forest. So X4. Oblivion Ring is nice because it gives us something to get rid of the oven and this shuts off their card draw engine. Can attack with five, but they just block sack anyways, so it doesn't make a difference. I do have enough for Uro now. Opponent looks to be thinning out their deck, probably get another black source to draw off the castle. So banishing light on the witch's oven will be good. They could steal like our love struck beast and then sack it. Whoa Strider. Not as scary without like cruel celebrant. Ah, oh, they got a second oven. So second oven kinda sucks.
and they claim So we got another Uro. So I think we go Uro from the graveyard. Crisis, Wolf Willow. Since we don't have Cavalier, it doesn't really matter. This gains us some life, gives us the most information because we have the card draw as well. Then we have second Wolf Willow. Sorry, let's see which one it's tapping. And then I'll probably just Love Struck or Banishing Light. I think we Banishing Light. Banishing Light gets rid of one of the ovens. But I'm also worried about, let's just cast Love Struck. Wanna try to find Heliod's intervention. Cause they still have two Midnight Reapers which could kill us on the spot. Or Mayhem Devils, not Midnight Reapers. If they want, they can actually draw two more cards with the uh, Wolf Strider. Heliod's Intervention would be big time. They have Rankle. So Rankle is definitely something we're going to want to get rid of. And they have Claim. Jesus. They get the life gain, they get the card draw. I love when the red black deck outdraws you. Probably a sacrifice here. So we'll discard the Wolf Willow. I'm surprised they discarded that. It's another way to clear our board. Abbey Grazer. Do I have enough cards in Grave? No. Why did it get exiled? Oh, it went back to my side of the battlefield. They never sacked it. Okay, opponent. So let's go most information again. Also gains us three life. Perfect. So I need to have five mana up. So I can get rid of Rankle here. So I'm gonna do it with the trigger on the stack so I can Probably play a Boreal Grazer just as a blocker. Because then I have five mana. Okay, 
that's fine. So if I do that, I have one, two, three, four, five, which is enough. Boreal Grazer gives me some insurance. I don't really care if they make me discard the Euro. Let's put a stop on my end step. So if they want, they can sack another food token to get one more activation out of it. Okay, which they do. Twenty six cards, thirty six. We also have a blocker for Rankle in the form of a Boreal Grazer. I'm really surprised they didn't sacrifice Uro when they stole it from us. Dreadhorde Butcher. Triple Dreadhorde Butcher. And Priest. Might just mill them out. 17 minutes. I think we're at 19. So clock isn't really too much of an issue for them. Hushbringer. Let's play out Hushbringer first. Stops the caddy TB. So they do that now. I'll tack in with the Uro, get a draw. Time wipe is sweet. Because Time Wipe might just actually kill them here. Actually, they don't draw any cards off it. So if I Time Wipe, bring back the Hush Bringer, and then I can Uro on my turn. They blue blinded. I'm not sure what the uh, uptime commands for. They don't get the death trigger. So Hushbringer shuts this deck off. So they are digging here. So 
still think we take the Hushbringer. They get to draw a bunch of cards. But they take a lot of damage in the process. And they may mill out. Hushbringer will also stop a lot of the ETB shenanigans. And then if Hushbringer survives, it lets us Uro again uh, from hand without having to exile. May have been wrong to take the Hushbringer. They wouldn't have drawn six cards. No blocks here. Because then they would be able to shoot the Hushbringer down and then draw two cards. So they have the Rampage. So let's cast Uro. Let's do Boreal, Heliod, Wolf Willow, Time White. This draws us a card, gains us some life. Conquer's death would be nice, or just another land. Didn't tap our mana right, so we don't get to scry. Did we choose the wrong one? Ah, in her face. Why doesn't it say which one came in first? Because now we go, yeah, that one didn't feel good at all. We went from in a fairly decent position to have a 6-6 back, to no board presence, get hit for 8. So now we need a time wipe. Hey Sard, uh, going well, okay. Uh, punted a little. Rena didn't tell us which one was the escaped one and which one was the enter the battlefield one. How about yourself? Have not been able to get over the hump with this deck just yet. Okay, they escaped that back. So we're kind of all in on time wipe or bust. I don't have enough cards, right? Okay, so that buys us another turn at least. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I am just dead if they have a uh, claim to the firstborn. Need that time wipe. It's not it. So they have a couple options to try to dig for claim. 
They bottom it. Thing is, we may be able to win on clock if we go to game three. They would be on the play. Okay, they keep it on top, so I'd imagine it's an answer. Yeah, just keep at it. Um, what are you playing? I usually find, like, honestly, Mythic was, ranking up in Mythic was easier than getting through uh, the slog of, like, Diamond and Platinum. Especially early in the month. Like, we've been stuck at Plat tier. I miss my board wipes in Doom Foretold. So at 12 cards in library. Okay, so they got the oven. They got Mayhem Devil. Can they combo kill us? Without killing themselves. So they have two. Four off this. Five with the sack. Because basically they could sack their whole board to Woe Strider. Them a bit more. Yeah, last season was the first one I actually top 1200. Finished around like 1040, 1039, I think was the rank before the season ended. I was just like, I got to the point where I was just trying to keep in the 800s and just let it the time run out. So you sack there, you get your triggers to. They also have to watch out just because they can kill themselves in terms of, uh, okay, they got a familiar. I think they might be trying to dig for another, ah, oh, they got the claim. I... All right, I don't know what to make of this deck. I think we need board wipes main. I don't like Nisa in it. I think if we just do more band control. Or I'm just going to do Simic Ramp, probably. So this was kind of the final iteration of the deck. I don't know. It was like competing with itself. We were originally on four Nisas, but wasn't crazy about it. Like, Dream Trawler felt really good. Uro was so-so. See, with Gruul... I don't know. Gruul is a deck that I've lost to quite a bit. I just don't like playing Gruul. Like, the deck I've liked most this season has been uh, Doom Foretold. Uh, this is my best of one version. Uh, this is the one I ranked up the most with. I just like having access to five sweeper, uh, four sweepers main and just a bunch of, like, grind factor. Anyways, going to go watch some basketball. Uh, might be back later today with one more. If not, you can catch us on YouTube. I'll be back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week, and then probably next weekend as well. Um, so we continue grinding up the, the rankings there. Appreciate everyone stopping by. And as always, if you want to catch any of my past videos, they're up on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great rest of the weekend.